Today in this short video I'm showing you how to draw a pet of a dog paw. I will start here with the, uh, the sketch here of this little paw. So it's really only um, one pet here. Um, around this pad of the paw there is the fur so I'm sketching in here a little bit of the fur and the outline here with black around the outline it's always darker there is a shadow um, there the hair the furs grow out here um, Along the outline I'm mapping in here black. I'm using the black pit pastel pencil here. And yes, the surface of uh, such a pad of a dog paw, uh, it's always skin structure. So I'm drawing in here one layer of a warm gray, a middle warm gray. So I'm mapping in here the Carputello C704 it's a warm gray a middle warm gray then let's blend it together with a paper stamp so I'm pushing the pigment into the paper all the teeth of the paper here all the the stains the colored stains the brown stains of the paper i'm using here pastel mud should disappear so i'm blending also here the outlines well you can blend a little bit of the black you have applied before here into the pad of the paw here into the skin so let's push and swipe a little bit with the paper stamp over the drawing surface blend the pigments a little bit together perhaps it's easier when you're using a finer paper stamp a thinner one and let's blend the little hairs too a little bit so that there are no so little strokes it should it should uh, this should be um, straight lines without interruptions push the pigments into the paper blend them a little bit so blend the black a little bit into the gray and you can create here transitions between black and gray so create some some beautiful transitions you only have to blend and to to bring in the black into the center here into the gray layer and mix it and create and mix it and create some soft transitions here then let's work again with black and let's work in little dots so I'm bringing in here um, with the sharpened black pastel pencil some dots so I only, yes, I draw dots. I touch the paper with the tip of the pencil and draw such little dots here. Here uh, above, uh, they can, there you can draw more black dots, let them overlap, draw them very close together. So draw many dots over the other layer so you create your layers with lots of dots and also here below on the lower part of the pad the pad of this dog paw we are drawing lots of dots you can also draw here in a very small circle motion so draw very small circles and dots again I'm pushing the pigments into the paper with the finger gently. <clears throat> then let's use a middle gray and let's draw here middle gray dots over the, the warm gray layer we have applied before. So here we can draw middle gray dots and you can also draw such middle gray dots here 
over the back layer so mix some different gray hues and gray tones and yes let's bring in lots of dots then you can also use light gray so use a light gray i have here the, uh, the light gray of the pit and let's map in here lots of dots when your pencil is not so sharp you can achieve some um, oh yes, bigger dots, not so small, and when you have really a sharp tip. So I'm gonna sharpen this light gray pencil here a little bit, so that I can achieve very, very small dots too. So then you can draw here with the sharp tip very, very small dots. Let them overlap and um, draw them very close together. I'm using here not too much pressure, otherwise the tip of the pastel pencil will break and you haven't a sharp pencil anymore, so be careful here with the pressure you use. Don't use too much pressure. Yes, yeah, so we are drawing dots lots of very small dots and so you can build up this structure of the skin here so here you have skin on this pad of the dog paw and with um well by drawing lots of dots you can here create this skin structure here in the center in the middle i'm turning i'm rotating turning around the pencil when i'm drawing the dots uh, I want to create some bigger dots here so in the middle those are those cells you can see this cell structure so draw some bigger dots in the center and here around create very very thin small dots you can also go in again with the black and add some more darker dots you can uh, use dark gray too. I'm using here the black and add here some darker dots. The same here below. Yes, so then let's um, increase here the shadow around of the pad a little bit with the black. The same here too. It can be darker here and let's blend and let's fade out here the black uh, upwards you shouldn't have a very straight line here you shouldn't have here an outline or a framing you should have here very smooth smooth transitions here the black should be going here into the fur area here yes and then let's draw a little bit fur around so i would use here the burn sienna a little bit so let's draw brown fur around the same here too and here above i would use a little bit of the ivory i'm just mapping in here a little bit some strokes of ivory let's blend these strokes here with the paper stamp the same here too. The important thing is always that you are blending your first layer so that you have a smooth underpainting and then you can build up the, your detailed fur then on this underpainting. Then I would use a little bit of light flesh for example here. A beautiful orangey pink color. I often use in my pet portraits the same here let's add some very small hairs here then let's go in again with black and add here some black hairs between the lighter ones the same here below and let's use um, yes, uh, 
orange color I would say here um, terracotta I'm gonna sharpen this terracotta a little bit so make sure your pencil is sharp here for the fur for drawing the fur and let's add here some red brown colors we also let here some hairs overlap the pad here too so we are drawing the thin fine lines here over the skin structure and here to the right side so i'm just building up a little bit of the fur structure here around the paw of course you have then uh, the, the centered pad and uh, more of those pads around the other four so this is only a uh, one small part of a dog paw yes let's use white a little bit and let's draw here some fine thin white hairs over it to add a little bit of highlight Here to or a little bit of a creamy color, a light yellow, uh, ivory. I love to use um, a crafting knife to draw in some fine lines and to refine the structure of the fur. And yes, so you can work on your fur around the pad of the dog paw here. Let's add some fine black hairs again and a little bit of the burnt sanguine, burnt sienna, sorry. <laughs> sanguine, it's a dark terracotta color, an orangey color. This is burnt sienna, a beautiful middle gray. Yes, and so you can play around and and yes, play a little bit around and draw this little fur around the paw pad. Well, yes, so I think we can finish this little drawing lesson. Wish you fun with drawing that. Have fun and enjoy it. Thank you for watching.